All right, good morning. Well, we're actually back at the ferry lineup to go to Vancouver Island once again. Really what we were planning to do this week was go to the Rockies and to some of the parks along the uh, Kootenays and the, the border, the Alberta-BC border, which is gorgeous. But there's just too many wildfires in the province. There's over 550 wildfires today burning and the amount of smoke um, is basically covering almost the entire province. So it just didn't make a lot of sense. And we just ran into uh, someone who, in the ferry lineup, who <clears throat> was actually in Yoho and uh, Banff parks and basically said they're hightailing it for Vancouver Island in hopes of getting away from some of the significant smoke. So we've got smoke from wildfires here and also smoke from the wildfires in the U.S. So it's very bad. So we're heading over to Vancouver Island. We're gonna go through Sydney a terminal again and then drive up north um, Vancouver Island. Vancouver Island's about uh, 300 miles, so about 500k long, so it's a big island and we're going to move farther up. We're staying in an area near Campbell River and then we'll be in um, Strathcona Park where it's the air quality is not as good as it usually is, but it certainly seems to be a lot better than it is in most of the rest of British Columbia. So we're kind of driving away from the smoke as best we can. Prince George, up sort of in the middle of the province, they had sky so black with smoke that it, even during the day it looked like it was nighttime. So yeah, all the street lights actually came on during the uh, early part of the day because it looked so dark. So um, air quality on the island might be closer to eight. So it scales, you know, one is good, ten is really bad. It's going to be a ten here today. Uh, we're hoping that their forecast on the island maybe will only be a a five or a six, which is moderate, and we're, we're hopeful, of course, that the wildfires uh, soon extinguish themselves, not just because of the inconvenience or smoke that folks like us have, but also so that the people that are impacted that by direct, directly, um, you know, can get back to their regular lives as well. We're making our way up Vancouver Island and this is where we got off the ferry in Sydney and right now we're just driving through Mill Bay and our destination is way up here near Campbell River and it's the Elk Falls Provincial Park where well, we will stay there for a couple of nights and then we'll head over to Strathcona Provincial Park and spend a couple of nights here. Well, we had an option. We could have driven from the West Vancouver Ferry Terminal and taken the ferry across to Nanaimo, but we couldn't get reservations. And you don't need reservations on a BC ferry, but in the summer when it's busy, it's a good idea. Um, our option could have been just to be there and be on standby, and I think the majority of the ferry spots are on standby, but if you get stuck in the ferry line up there, we could be there for hours. For us, it was just simply easier to get a reservation, come across to the Sydney, Victoria side, and then spend the extra hour and a half driving up the aisle. It's a nice drive. We were checking the air quality index in some of the towns that we're going to pass by and it looks like uh, the actual air quality is a lot worse than they did forecast. So it's not much better than Vancouver unfortunately. It's about 10. So we're coming up to Nanaimo and the air quality is just as bad as here as it is in Vancouver. It's 10 plus. Gordon just noticed that they have the runway lights on at the airport here in Nanaimo. into our spot in Elk Falls Provincial Park. Again, uh, like many of the provincial campsites, big spots, big uh, spaces between spots. Uh, we got this actually relatively last minute and uh, it looks good. We'll have lots of shade 
That's just looking directly west there, and you can see the sun setting and still lots of smoke, but hopefully that'll clear up soon. So I doubt the microphone will pick it up on the camera, but just going back here, you can see there's some more uh, campsites, but the river's just on the other side of those campsites, so we can just hear the sound of the water very lightly. Perhaps an appropriate beer for today. Hazy days. And it's actually very tasty. It says it has some of the most tropical hops around. It's actually quite, uh, quite good. Very pleasant. And that's what it looks like. Cheers. Just going for a post-arrival walk just to get the lay of the land. We're just doing a little, <laughs> some trails around the campground. The temperature when we were driving into Campbell River was about 30 degrees, or was it 29? 29 degrees. Yeah, 29, 30. Yeah. So these sites back onto the river, which is nice. Um, they don't have as many trees and they don't look quite as private as our site. But they're nice as well. Yeah, so we found the first come first serve sites in this section here and they're actually quite nice. You can tell because they don't actually have the reserve signs. Good morning. So we're gonna try to make our way to the Elk Falls today. I don't know if we can, I don't know um, how long it's going to take us so We'll just play it by ear and see what happens. But first of all, we're taking the Beaver Dam Trail that goes um, from the campground. We had a very relaxed morning this morning. Um, slept in a little bit. I didn't wake up till about 7.15, I think. Gordon was up a bit earlier. And uh, yeah, very peaceful night. The air quality is better. a little better. <laughs> Uh, Gordon was checking this morning and uh, the Vancouver area actually is better now than here. Normally it would get better on the coast uh, first, but on the island first, but this way it seems to be sort of sliding in from the north, a little bit better air quality. So hopefully by tomorrow we're a lot nicer and better in terms of air quality. Still, it's better today than it was yesterday. Yeah, it's actually a nice day. You can see the sun filtering through the trees. It is late in the season, but everywhere here in the forest, everything's looking a little withered. Even the stuff that's green just looks a little on the uh, downward side. When you look at the ferns ahead, they're not nearly as vibrant and green as they normally would be. And that's been, I think, the result, or it's the result of a, a long, hot, dry summer for us. And still probably a few weeks of that to go. But you can see why a lot of the forest fires are a problem, because even here on the island um, near the coast, it's very dry. So we've crossed the highway and now we're heading on the trail to take us to Elk Falls. We just asked the, um, a lady just running by, so she said this is the way to get there eventually. So it doesn't make it feel very remote, but part of the reason this trail is here is because of this. It's the John Hart generating station. And the majority of the power here, I believe, goes to Vancouver Island. You can also get an idea of uh, the smoke that's here today. It looks like we're going the right direction. Okay, much more pleasant now. We're in the forest and we sort of put the, the humming noise from the power plant behind us.
saw the falls from the from above and then we'll see it over the suspension bridge. Wow. We're very high up. <laughs> and bouncing. <laughs> Lunchtime. It was a nice lunch spot. It was um, very peaceful. Unfortunately, it's getting a little hot and smoky, so we're going to head back. Back there is the parking lot for Elk Falls, but we're going back on the Millennium Trail and we're going to try a different route this time. We're going to see if we can cross to the other side of the river and take the Canyon River Trail back to the campground and hopefully avoid the, the BC Hydro power plant. At some point we should cross the river and we should end up on the other side of the campground and then there should be a road that takes us back across the bridge back to the right side of the river. Fish, that one's for you. We understand there's steelhead salmon in this river. Well, I guess there's more salmon than steelhead. comfortable for our little precious. We did leave the air conditioning set to go on um, at 30 degrees and we left the bolt start on as well just in case it got really hot but it really didn't. So it was a comfortable 22 degrees inside the van when we got back and much cooler than it is outside. Make some real chicken for precious as a treat and she just loves it. There he is, hi. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's a treat. He just loves it. A well deserved snack and Hazy Days appropriately named beer. Once again. Once again, after our hike. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's good.